doing? How are you? Ah, listen, I think I got you a good enough apartment, but why a group trotting author like you would want to stay in this part of town, I can't figure. And darling, I lived in abandoned bunkers in Cambodia. And I'm up to my ass in water in the jungles of Angola. So what could be new for me? Wait till you see the cockroaches in this place. <laughs> Well, it's not much, is it? But uh, at least it's cockroach-free. <laughs> and it's great. I get the right feel of the people. I like it. Well, then I'll let you get settled, and tomorrow I'll take you down to the office, and you can meet my colleagues, and that should be it. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi, this is Heather. I just arrived on flight 269. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, first class from Mexico City. Yes, I was going to have my luggage delivered to 4521 Kenzie Avenue in Queens. Yes, why thank you. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. story coming. It's done, Chief. Let me see this. Mm -hmm. You know, I could use a half a dozen more like you. Thank you. I'd like you to meet my roommate from college, Heather Walters. Ah, uh, there's a senior Heather Walters. I met you last year. You signed a book for me at this is our chief editor, Alonzo Taggart. I'm always happy to meet someone who buys one of my books. Hi, all. This is Miss King, our resident firewall. Heather, this is the publisher of the Clarion, Paul Proust. You're Heather Walters. I recognize you from the cover of your book jackets. Oh, thank you. Rabinowitz, let, let me get right back to you. Where's all your, your material? Darling, how are you? Would you massage my neck for me? I'm so tired. Mm. Oh, that's good. But what I'd really like is to get out of these clothes and get into a nice hot shower. The rubbing oil is back at my place. Let's go. Nice to have met you. Hello. Miss King has left for the day. I'll take that information and I'm sure she'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir. I'm gathering information about men who hit the skids. What's the reason for your decline? <laughs> <laughs> the reason for my decline, <laughs> let me tell you something. I used to be a rocket scientist. Until I said to myself, what the hell am I doing? You know, I was contributing to the destruction of mankind. And I said, that's it. <laughs> so, I just flew to Coop and landed right here. What is your name, sir? My name, is that a trick question? Wait, um, John, John Smith. Mr. John Smith. Kind of big, aren't you there? Big enough for you, baby. <laughs> Mr. John Smith, I think you're just what the doctor ordered. 
can you walk? Can I walk? If I can't walk, I can crawl. Listen, Pete. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> you know, you know I always get picked up like this. I know. Listen, can you pick me up? I think so. Whoa. Oh, I, I <sighs> okay, just hold me. This antitrust and trade regulation report. The story you're covering doesn't match on Rule 23B. Take due process and background, rewrite them because you need to cover this over. I want to go into this court process knowing what we're writing when we come out on this story tomorrow morning, all right? Uh, hi, Heather. Look, I'll be a few more moments with Anna, all right? Take the analysis. Do another analysis. I'm not going to print tomorrow without this story. Okay. Now that's a lovely hunk. Damn girl, that one's taken. Besides, I didn't hear that fucked out huskiness in your voice. Tell me about the new guy. Look at that. I want a complete list of all the suspects on the NARS case. I don't care what the DA says. I pay you good. Come on, give me the list. Tommen, is that with two L's? This guy is hung. I'm talking about four inches. That's not big. That's the width. It's length. Forget about it. Oh, right up your alley. Right up my alley and a little further. When he comes, a half pint of whipped cream. Five days, he never stopped. Oh shit, for the night, let me call you back. Come on, no man can be that good. Would you like to have proof? I can arrange a little exhibition. If Anne will help out. You see, there's a Louvre closet next to my bedroom. Oh uh, yeah? All right, let's go. Leary, I want an exclusive on the armored car hold up. Come on, one hand washes the other, and I always give your precinct great press. All right, fine. Miss King, the boss wants you to proof read this at 12. All right, tell Mr. Proust I'll be in later. I've got to get over to the ninth precinct. Um, O'Leary has an exclusive for me. Okay. How are things in? Oh, there's no getting along with King. <laughs> Images of a huge is making her crazy. She loves her work in idolize. She could have married the publisher and had it all. But now she wouldn't be satisfied with wealth and power. She has seen extraordinary. And she's going to dream about it and she's going to drool all over her sheets. Heather, I too drool over my sheets, thinking about the way you saw yours when we were in college. Mm. 